and welcome. I'm going to go over the joystick mapper. I'm going to give you a, a rough overview so that you can get a sense of how this works, how easy it is to use, and then you can take it from there. I hope you've gone to the links below in the description. It will send you to the site. You can download the software and the documents. Real important. They're very well laid out, good information. Um, I mean, there's a few things that are a little bit quirky about it, but nothing much at all. But let's just go over what's here. What we're looking at is on the left is all of the findable action commands that you can use in the game. What will come out in this right-hand plane is where your XML file will show up. And that's just a quick double check. I kind of like this setup. I think it's very effective. When you start this up, you want to make sure your, your game controllers are plugged in before you start it. You want to make sure they're showing up here. I've got two joysticks, a throttle, and here it is, TWCS, joystick 2, joystick 1, all in green, T16000. So, we have to do a couple more things before we get into binding the keys. This is just... This will keep everything kind of going right. The first thing we want to do is make sure this name on the right gets changed. You want to lay leave the layout underscore my underscore. Um, this, of course, is subject to change, but the last time I read about it, it was leave that in. That will make sure that your mapped keys and that you load into the game and use will be unique <coughs> and the game will recognize them. I mean, I've done it without it, and it seemed to work. This is sort of just making sure. So we're going to call this demo z <laughs> zero 02. And up here, at the title, in the center there, same thing. Name it whatever you want. I'm just calling it a demo 02. So those are names that should be the same. You'll notice that this says um, pp underscore rebind keys underscore layout my demo 02 and that's the command for the console and we'll use that with this clipboard. You click there it's now on the clipboard so that command can be easily pasted into the console in game. The next thing you want to do is come down to the center section under settings click that. This is the settings that you need to set up before you start doing things. The first thing to do is set the path to the Star Citizen installation. There is mine, Cloud Imperium Games. That should be good to go. These other options I haven't really used. You guys can read a little more and use them. Um, ignore buttons. I think that's pretty evident. Um, ignore action maps. That's pretty cool, actually, because there's a lot of action maps. And when I come in and map my controls for the ship, I just care about the spaceship. I mean, right now, the vehicle, I mean, you guys can do whatever you want, but for now, this is the easiest way. So this is how I set it up. You can leave them all on. It's not that bad to have them all on either. Um, but once you've accepted the changes, okay, it will clear out the action tree to apply this. So just be warned if you want to change it later. Now, it's you can do it, but right now it's not except the defaults is there. Now it's got multiplayers on there. That's fine. Um, but mostly all it shows is spaceship. So I've got less to deal with. Okay. Right click. Spaceship movement. Collapse to select it. I love that. It is wonderful. Now all my movements are going. We're going to start with a joystick. I'm going to start with the yaw. It's on the X axis. I just moved the joystick. Whatever input that has will show up here. I'm going to right-click on the yaw. It's going to say assign. It's now assigned. You can see it popped up in green. I clicked off of it so you can see the green. Um, there is the yaw. It's on X. That's correct. We also want to do the decoupled yaw. So I'm going to come down, find the decoupled yaw, and assign that. So now my yaw is assigned. Now I want to do the pitch forward and back or down and up. That's on the Y. 
And as long as I'm down here, I'll go to the decoupled first. So there it is. And again, anything you assign and map will show up in the color of the joystick you have mapped to. And pitch. Okay. So there we go. Now, I'll talk a little bit about these boxes down here because they're important. <coughs> They come, I think, believe, and I think the mouse and keyboard and get, uh, are, are checked. If you check them all, all of the mouse, the keyboards, and the gamepad bindable keys will show up. I think that's a little too much information for me because I just care about the joystick. Whatever you're mapping to, you can have show. Mapped, this box underneath the joystick, means it will only display what is currently mapped. So we only have the yaw on the pitch mapped in all the spaceship commands, and so that's what shows up. The next thing to map for me is the acceleration, the throttle on joystick two, that's my throttle. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna move my throttle. It shows up as this JS2 underscore Z, which means joystick Two, of course. I don't use a throttle. I use strafing forward and back. This gives me the ability to not only accelerate forward, but come back to a zero center part to the center of the throttle. Um, and then I can go from that center and push forward, and that will give me reverse thrust. I think that gives me a little more control. Um, you'll see a couple little demos of why I do that. So I'm going to find the strafe. And strafing, it's probably easier just to put in a filter. And this box down here is to create a quick mini filter. And it just, if I type in an STR, it's smart. It figures it <laughs> out. I love this. See, it starts out with this V, but he ignores that. And he goes right to what I care about, which is strafe. Now I see every single strafe command in the spaceship movement. I'm going to assign it to the Z, and what I want is this one here. Um, he calls it this longitudinal whatever, and I'm like, okay, it's forward and back in the game, and that's how I think of it. So I'm going to assign that, and also the decoupled version. So now that is on for my throttle. And that takes care of all of the basic movements. If you forget and leave this STR sitting in here, you can't see anything else. So make sure you take it out. The next thing I like to have on here will be strafe control, um, left, right, up and down, or vertical, lateral. And you kind of have to get used to figuring out what they mean by some of these action maps. It's not hard to figure out. If you get it wrong, not a big deal. Go back and change it. Again, I'm only interested in strafing at the moment. So STR. I'm going to stay on joystick 2 because I'm going to put this on the little thumb control here. And I'm going to go, that's my left. So button 7, joystick 2, button 7. I want to see that on strafe left, assign, and again, we've got to do coupled and decoupled. To the right, button 9, strafe right, assign, strafe right. Now, up and down. So, button 8 will be up. Decoupled, yeah, and then up on coupled. And again, I, I click off so that I can see it. The vertical is only going to be used kind of like the analog, um, digital analog uh, controller, so like a pitch. But that's going to move you, you know, in a vertical up down along a, an axis. Uh, and I do have another axis I can dip, put that on. In fact, I, I will. I'm going to put this vertical on this Y. I've got 
a little tiny finger joystick. And I'm not really using it yet, but I'm just going to do it so you can see it. So if I go to the left, now this one, I've got to kind of hit a couple times so I can get, figure it out. I'm going, okay, so that's right, left. That's one of the reasons I don't like using it, because um, it's a little... So Y looks like it's the pitch, and X will be left, right. So in this particular case, that'll be lateral. Anytime you're having a single pitch axis, it, you want to include both movements. So lateral, of course, would be left to right. So I'll assign that. And then the vertical goes on the Y. I'm also in the couple vertical. And lateral decouple. OK. So that's taken care of a lot of my movements. Strafing, moving, coupled, decoupled. Targeting is the next thing I want to go to. So make sure, again, you take out your filter. Everything shows up. I'm going to go and put my weapons on. There they are. And I'm going to go back to joystick one. There it is. And then push the trigger, button one. And I'm going to come in here and right click, assign, right click, assign. By the way, you can also assign it where it says assign, but I find it much easier just to do this. That way I can not be in the center and then to the left, I just stay in the center. Okay, um, the next thing I want to have is uh, missile fire, which will be on button two. So missile, launch missile, that will be on button two. And the next thing I want is to actually get that missile lock going. And I'm going to show you how I do it, and it's going to be on focus. Uh, spaceship targeting, missile lock focus. And I want that to be on the trigger. So that means every time I'm shooting that ship, it's also focusing my missile lock on it. Um, it's kind of convenient. You guys can change it. I like it. But whatever works for you better is the way you should go. Okay, so we've got movement, pitch, yaw, strafing. We've got weapons, maps. That's about all you need for the basics. There is one more, which is, of course, the roll, which I haven't done. It's on joystick, too. It's a little left-right paddle. And I'm going to set that up. Again, take off my filter. Um, if I want, I can just put roll, RO even in there, and that'll show it to me. Um, that's funny, it's showing the weapons too. Even though it's an RO filter, I wonder why. Maybe, oh, it's probably from group and, gr and group. So roll left, roll right, like that's w actually what I need to do, um, is this roll. It's on this ROT. Like I guess it's like a rotated Z, uh, rotational Z. That's the axis I'm going to use, and it's going to go left or right naturally. It's an axis, so assign it, decoupled as well. Okay. Pitch, yaw, roll, all done. The last thing we want to do, um, before, actually before I go any further, hit this red button. I'm sure it's been bugging you. It's like, what's that red button? It's to put the XML file in this display so you can check it. You can look it over and say, yeah, that looks right. This is the file the, the game uses to read your control binding, which I kind of think is cool. It's like, okay, it's not a hard file to read. It's pretty easy. And you go in here and say, okay, action map name, spaceship movement, cool. Action name, there it is, pitch. It's assigned to the joystick one underscore y. Looks right to me. You can double check it if you want. I, I know it's good. The next thing you want to do, if you've got the right path, now this demo 2, I'm going to say dump and save. It turned green. That's because it was saved correctly in the user map uh, control mapping directory that is buried in that folder. The next thing I want to show you is one more thing to tune your joystick, which is the device tuning, and that's the come in here to device tuning. And in fact, I'll show you again. In the center, 
right hand side near the bottom it'll say device tuning unless he's changed it you know which can happen but that's where it is now uh, I'm just going to click in the points and I click on sensitivity too this just sets up what you can do over here this box of blue red green is just which axes you're controlling and uh, I just start with the top one the yaw sensitivity I leave it at 100 you can change that if you feel you need to again these are all up to you I'm going to show you a quick curve this is the input and output curve and what I'm doing is setting up a basic common structure for a curve which is anything on this diagonal anything below in this area will be less than your input in other words if I move the yaw right now you can see in fact if you look at the numbers under y-axis you'll see it you'll see an in and out in right now let's see here sensitivity okay well let's double check this because it's not actually activating and why is that Select on joystick one. I'm going to go to another checkbox called map. And I wonder why it's not didn't map. Okay, we'll just map it again. Well, here's what's mapped. Took the filter out. The yaw is on joystick one X. That's correct. Oh, I know what I did wrong. You have that's very good to see because that'll be important. Um, I'm gonna actually dump this, save it, just so I have it. So it's gonna overwrite. That's good. That's what I want. Um, what I didn't do was select spaceship movement. It's really important. You've got to have that selected, or the device tuning won't work. So there you go. Sensitivity. I'm gonna underneath exponents. I click. It's for these three points to be controlled. Start with the yaw, and yeah, see, there it is. Okay, so right now it's one diagonal line. You can see, watch these numbers on the y-axis. I'll turn the other axes off. This is off. That means only the y will show up. If I go to the left, those numbers, input, output, exactly equal. Well, I don't want that to be exactly equal. In when I first start using the joystick around the center, I want it to be less than equal. Oh, that's sensitivity, 0.1. So 0.1, I'm going to make it less. Point two, I'm gonna, I want more action. And finally, the last point three, I want heavy action. Now it's going to come back to 100%, but this point means it's going to give me a little more oomph for my movement. And you know, if you're wanting to turn sharp, you want it to turn right away. So this helps set that up. This is kind of like the best curve of both worlds. Um, there are other things on curves. You can take a look at that. I'm sure you'll find lots Okay, so once this is done, I don't want to have to redo it for each one. I'm just going to say copy. And now if I go to pitch and roll, it's all the same. And that's pretty much it. The other things, there's dead zone. I'm sure you know uh, around center you can have less response. These controls here I think are just to emulate the ship movement. There are three ships pictured here. If you click on each picture, it will bring in um, the three ships, and I can't make them out except for this first one, which is a 350R. You can also change the background. Uh, these buttons, Canyon, Highway, those kinds of things, and they just do the same stuff that anything else would do. In fact, I've used Highway a lot because it's kind of nice. You can kind of get a, a quick judgment of what it is. But anyway, you can see if I just do the yaw now, I'm inputting 6.16, and I'm outputting 0.04. Aha. Uh -huh. There you go. We're done. Dump it. Save it. Overwrite to the clipboard. We're done. We're going to check it in game and against the in game key bindings.
Okay, so we're in the game. We're going to go to single player. Free flight. Free flight. And I always make sure I'm in the right ship I want to be in. In this case, I want to be in the Hornet and begin the match. So before I do anything else, I'm going to hit the tilde, bring up the console, use control V, paste in my current demo O2. Now this is going to overwrite what I have already set up for my key bindings, and that's okay. We'll come back to that. I think I used Thrustmaster one or something, but I'm going to hit enter. It's going to say at the very end of all that, loaded, enjoy, music to my eyes. Hit tilt again, and now this is the map that I am currently using, the one we just set up. So go to the right, it's good, it's my yaw, hitch, okay, my throttle seems to be working, there's my reverse, I go back to the center. So, it's all looking good. There's my roll. Excellent. Also excellent. And let's go for it. Now, everything looks good. I didn't run into any obvious problems. So, if you do go, and you will, believe me, we're going to hit escape. We're going to hit options. And I'm going to take you into key bindings. So, you go to key bindings. At this stage, you've got an arrow. It's grayed out to the left, but you can go to the right. Now, I'm going to the joystick because I have this OTOS setup. In fact, that's very similar to what I have. Not quite, but close. And by the way, you can just use just the throttle um, joystick because this Thrustmaster has this throttle right here. And it's got keys that you can use. It's a standalone. So if you're looking to go a little bit less expensive than buying, you know, a separate throttle controller, you can do it. Okay, down here at the bottom right, advanced controls. You come up here, and these are all the action maps that you can set. They're collapsed, thank God. And here we go pitch, yaw roll and you can see throttle zero i have actually set up already it's it's got one of my old maps and I, in fact i'll show you if you go under control profiles it'll show you what you have loaded up i've got demo one demo two which is what we just did and my thrustmaster zero 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 one that's the one i normally use that's my setup i've been tweaking it for a while now you'll each have that but that's good to know that it, the game keeps these profiles. And by the way, you want to do a backup of your user folder so that you have a copy elsewhere, not just within the game, because if they wipe the alpha, you will lose that data. You have been warned. I think I'm going to flash a big warning. Copy your user folder to make sure that you have those files. So we're in good shape. Um, you can scroll back through here. Now, the other thing that you can do, which is to continue to go to um, well, control profiles. Um, I remember, where is the uh, key bind? Oh, controls. If you come to controls and you want to see the curve that we've just set up, it's in here too. You have to go to controls. You have to be, you know, by the way, you have to be in the joystick. Also, don't be in mouse. This will show you the curves that are set up. Joystick sensitivity curves. Flight, flight movement. These are the defaults. I've set a custom. So if I come in here and hit edit curve, you'll see the curve we set. And let me tell you something. This one's not bad, but the other one, man, that's easier. Way easier. So, 
I had saved, you probably should have just hit cancel, but that's okay. So this is where you would find that information. It's a little confusing because you gotta, when you first get in here, you see this, this is inversion. If, by the way, if you want to invert your settings, you can do that in the mapper, the joystick mapper, or you can do it in game. Um, I wish they had that closed to begin with, but this is where you would tell it to yes, invert. That's all these settings are, is to invert those controls. Then the next section will be joystick, sensitivity curves, dead zone, curve. So you get a lot of control. And saturation, um, you're going to have to look that one up because I vaguely remember it's, you know, how much influence or yada yada you get, but I'm not going to tell you wrong. So, all right, we are done with that. I think we're about done for the day. I can't think of anything else I would show you except to um, wish you luck, and I will see you in Star Citizen. Oh, yeah, Star 42, come back. There will be more. I, I didn't record. I just did everything I didn't. Oh, I didn't just. Oh my god, I did. Checkpoint 